Greetings, VAC fans. Well, I posted earlier today a worst-case scenario, approximately one minute, open door, open room, uh, particle air test for this 2012 Hoover Tempo Wide Path. It had a very dirty bag, it had a dirty exhaust filter, and it had a dirty pre-motor filter. Matter of fact, here is the exhaust filter, and that's just carbon dust. Here's the pre-motor filter. Well, I guess that's not really that dirty. You've seen them worse than this. And the bag, uh, the main HEPA bag in there I was using, was uh, certainly uh, very dirty, at least 10% full, if not more, and just smelled terrible. Everything has been replaced. New pre-motor filter, new exhaust filter, new unused HEPA bag. I have the carpet height setting set to high, just so the brush roll doesn't even uh, nick uh, the bottom of the carpet. And we're going to do a 10 minute particle evaluation test. The room is closed. I even have the bottom of the door blocked off so particles don't seep in, the HVAC is not on. So let's see what we got for initial conditions. All right, 15 and a half thousand or so. You can note the temperature and the relative humidity. Since I'm in a room that's about, uh, well, when you subtract the furniture, about 900 cubic feet, the exhaust comes out of this machine uh, very plentiful, in other words, very high CFM exhaust, and also it's very warm. So I'm expecting the temperature to go up quite a bit. Okay, so there we are, 15, 16,000 or so. So here we go with another really long, boring video. Feel free to fast forward to the end, I suppose.
All right, now we'll take a final particle count. I can say that I can definitely feel the rush of air in the room. Okay, well, it didn't clean the air that well, but it still cleaned the air. So even though this is a very inexpensive under $100 machine, or at least recently it was, the fact that it's like uh, what some people say a non-sealed system, and certainly the exhaust isn't HEPA, but I think you can get a HEPA filter for it. So let me know down in the, uh, in the comment section. I think you can, but if not, it just uses the regular filter that comes with it, which, you know, doesn't really do all that much. But there you go. So proof, a very inexpensive vacuum does not harm the air significantly. Particles do not go all over the place with this thing and they got reduced a little bit. I'll go ahead and post the averages in the description as I normally uh, as I normally do. But bottom line, this machine with this very basic technology, the fact that it's got a HEPA bag, a pre-motor filter down here, and here's the post-motor filter that I just put in and just ran for 10 minutes. Wonderfully clean. Remember this it was the old one, and this has been in there for a year. You can see the little lines in there. Bottom line, this machine does no appreciable harm. So, what do you think? Like, comment, and subscribe. More particle tests to come. Until then, happy vacuuming.